Hello, this is Fun with Paul. I'm going to take you guys through taking one of these uh, Dairy Queen pumps apart, which sometimes we have problems with. I'm going to let you in on some little tips and secrets as to why they don't work and some of the parts that go bad in them. So we'll just get this going pretty quickly. It won't take very long. That's your standard pump. All the pumps are basically the same. There's some internal stuff that's a little different, but they're all very similar. So as you guys know, there's two nuts on the top. You want to take the piston piece out, take the other nut off, which goes into the spout. What I like to do whenever I'm working on these is I like to do one pump at a time so you don't interchange, interchange pump parts because some of the pumps are a little bit different. Um, but primarily I try to have stuff, usually I'll have a little bucket or something that I drop stuff into so that it doesn't go flying off over the floor and I lose it. And then you have the top, you've got the spout, just do a little quarter turn to it, it pops right out. And then you've got the downspout right here that where the piston goes down and through. So basically how this works is it's a lot like a squirt gun. So on a squirt gun, you push in on this trigger. When you let out, it reloads. It pushes in, you let out, it reloads. That's how this works. So basically what happens is this piston goes down and that pushes out of the spout. When you let up, it pulls out of the bottom back up into here, a selected amount. Then it goes back down again. So what, one of the problems you guys have when you're running into them is that you'll push this down and they don't come back up. Okay, two problems there. So as you can see up close, this has a little ridge in it. So what that ridge is for, I'm gonna take, go ahead and take this apart too. My wife's phone's getting on too which is cool. What that ridge is for is for this little white thing. This little white thing, when, it, when you push down on this piston, catches right here, forces it back down in there, the spring loads up, and then it lets it back up. If you don't have this in there, what happens is it doesn't catch. So a lot of times when, when I see you guys have pump problems, you're pushing it down, but it's not coming back up. So you have to pull it back up and then push it down manually. That's typically because either this washer wasn't put in or the spring is either bent. A lot of times they'll get cut in half. A lot of times they'll get smashed down. Uh, they wind up together and without any spring tension on there, the piston won't come back up. Without this little white thing on there, it won't come back up. So I'll show you again. If you have it on here like this, It'll just go down in and get stuck. Did you see how that just happened? Now watch what happens when I put this little white thing on. So I push this down, now it wants to come back up. So typically, I found one in a pump the other day where someone took it apart, lost this little washer piece or didn't know where it went, so they just threw it away. That's one of the big problems. At the bottom of these pumps is two balls that sit in here. They're check balls. Sometimes these balls fall out. Most of the pumps I've got rid of that the balls fell out so they stay in. There's also a washer in here. If this washer isn't the right washer or doesn't seal, when you take it apart to clean it, what'll happen is you'll see this is all caked up and coming out. That's a problem. The other problem I see with these pumps is in the top where this comes down like this. Let me this back together real quick. So basically sits on here like this as it comes out of this pump you'll start to see a lot of chocolate buildup that's up here in the top or marshmallow or whatever you're running through it and that's because this wa white washer okay it's two things either it's upside down or it's worn out so this comes off a lot of you guys take this off and clean it and a lot of times what you do is you just throw it back on you don't know which way it goes on so give me a real close-up of this, and what you'll see is that this thing has a camphor that goes out like this on either side. And that camphor needs to be pointed down. If it's not pointed down, what happens when it goes down in there is it sucks the stuff back up with it, and that's a problem. So you got to remember, when you put this back on, it's got to be camphored down towards the ground. It's a little easier to tell if you look at it pretty closely. Um, 
this side up, you can see that when you look at the bottom side, you can see more of the black O-ring. It's kind of obvious to me because I've seen them so many times, but as you kind of mess with them, you'll see. So this goes down. If it doesn't go down, the camphor goes the other way. And when it comes back down, it'll pull chocolate or whatever you're trying to get in there up. This spring right here is pretty important. It needs to be at least over that black part right there. If it's not, it won't have enough spring pressure on it and you'll be pulling the pump up to make it work. I've ordered a bunch more of these springs. We're just gonna replace them. But a lot of times what happens on these springs is they break and then they wind together. So you'll take a pump apart and only be that much spring showing. Well, then it's not gonna come back up. That's pretty obvious. So this comes back on like this. You spin your top on. This piece here, pretty simple. To kind of line this up, make sure your O-ring's in there. Spin that. This piece, make sure your O-ring's on here. That O-ring needs to be pretty good too. If that wears out, it'll leak on the outside of here as well. This goes back together like this. And what did I do? I forgot to put the white O-ring on the bottom of the spring. It won't work that way. So that has to go under the spring, just like that. If it's not there, you'll be manually pulling back up and down on it to make it uh, work for you. And that's very frustrating, I know. That goes back on like that. You put your nut back on. Back in, tighten it up and you're good to go. So if you're taking these apart, watch this video. If you have a problem after, you're coming into work and you see chocolate build up up here or it's coming back up through this handle it's probably the white o-ring is upside down or it's not in there at all or it's no good and we need to replace it if it won't come back up like that the springs either broke or that little white bushing sometimes they're black it's the same thing it looks like a quarter with a hole in it if that's not coming back up it's either a spring or it's that little that little disc underneath it has to go underneath the spring all right, that's all I got. Thanks, guys.